Thank you for joining me today. My name is Keegan and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. So today I'm gonna to tell you how to do the face zoom effect. That's very popular on TikTok right now. In the video editing world, we call it tracking. So this is essentially face tracking. Now I'm a Final Cut Pro 10 user, but the exact same concept and theory applies in Premiere Pro. The great thing is you don't need any plugins. You don't need anything. All we're gonna be using are keyframes. Let's get to it. So here's the clip that I have. <laughs> okay, so that's the clip I recorded. Now the effect on TikTok seems to target your nose when it's tracking your face. So that's what we're gonna do here. So the first thing we have to do is add a guideline. Click the view button up here, go down to overlays and click show horizon. And what that's gonna do is add a couple of lines. We're gonna use those yellow horizon lines as a guideline for tracking. So right on the drop is where we want the face track effect to kick in. So I'm gonna add keyframes, position keyframe and scale keyframe. So if you press Control V on the clip, we can see the video animation keyframes within the timeline. I'm just gonna make it a lot easier. So I'm gonna back up maybe three frames because that's about how quick it takes in TikTok for that effect to go from fully zoomed out to zoomed in on the face. So I'm gonna add a keyframe there. Everything before these keyframes right here, it's gonna stay the same, it's gonna stay zoomed out. So now between these two keyframes, we're gonna have a zoom in really quickly. Let's put the playhead over the second keyframe and we're gonna increase the scale to about, I don't know, let's say 221. And this is completely up to you. You can choose whatever number you works for your video. And then I'm also gonna click down here on the transform box, right in the bottom left corner of the viewer. And all I'm gonna do is keep the tip of my nose centered right on the cross. So there we go. And then all I'm gonna do from now on is press the right arrow key, one frame over, and I'm gonna click and drag and move the tip of my nose right to the crosshair, okay? Now we're gonna have to do that again, right. And I'm gonna move the crosshair to the tip of my nose. One frame over, tip of my nose. And now, watch, when I go back, you can see the crosshair is sticking to the tip of my nose. And this is because every time we move the footage, a new keyframe is created. So I'm gonna go right again, drag the footage, right again, and I'm gonna do this all the way until the end. By the way, make sure to take your time, especially if it's a short video that you're making, take your time to get it as perfect as possible. So all our keyframes are done. It's a lot of keyframes, but it only took me about 10 minutes. Okay, well, let's have a watch. First, I'm gonna turn the horizon lines off. <laughs> so there we have it. That is the face zoom tutorial. You can pretty much track anything this way using keyframes and uh, time, <laughs> but uh, there are definitely plugins that make it a lot easier and less time consuming, but you could save a lot of money just by putting a little bit of effort and taking a little bit of time to do the same thing that that plugin will do. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you. If it was, hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this and hit that notification bell. It's really, really great for me and great for you to see the videos that I put out right away. So I'll catch you on the flip side.